sea is very important for all of us. And uh, by the sea, we connect all the continent with each other and, uh, and become one, one, one unity. Most of the trade, most of the transport, mainly use the sea. Even through the history, but now it's increasing, the uh, sea line of communication has disrupted so many disruptions. Disruptions sometimes from the uh, criminal, sometimes from uh, mines thrown by uh, some terrorists. And, uh, and what happened in Somalia last, uh, last decade and, uh, and this decade, and what Houthi is doing now also in near Babel Mandeb, uh, this increased the importance to safeguard the sea line of communication. Because the maritime security is very important, very important for everybody. And uh, because of that, we have uh, thought to uh, choose the title this year so that it helps uh, how to secure the sea line of communication. So I, here I represent the NATO training entity that is uh, the only NATO training facility within NATO dealing with uh, maritime security. So it was uh, an honor, but also it was uh, an out of mind of being here today in such a prestigious and very famous maritime conference that is taking place in, uh, in Dubai this week. We had the opportunity to discuss our common uh, struggles, which is how to encounter current and future hybrid and asymmetric threats emerging from the maritime environment, but also to see, to go a little bit further, to consult with uh, the private industry and see uh, how we can together be stronger in terms of uh, finding the appropriate solutions in enhancing our capabilities dealing with maritime threats. Maritime Security Conference has, is taking place this week in Dubai. It's a great opportunity for connecting with uh, our colleagues from other countries but not only for NATO, but also in, uh, uh, to deal with uh, the regional problems and uh, regional protagonists in order to find the best solution for our common threats. So this week, uh, Maritime Security and Offshore Patrol Week, it's a continuation of uh, a series of offshore patrol vessel Middle East conferences and uh, other conferences dealing with maritime security. IQPC has brought together a pretty good uh, faculty of experts, uh, both uh, active duty, uh, operational, uh, naval and coast guard experts, uh, academics, uh, policy people, uh, and uh, industry uh, representatives. So we get a good idea of what the problems are that are facing uh, navies and coast guards uh, and nations today, uh, the importance of partnerships and working together, and we're getting an opportunity to see some of the key policy issues that our countries are, are having to deal with, um, and then uh, an opportunity to see from the vendors that are present some of the key technologies that are, are maturing uh, and are coming available. and. Uh, are available for consideration by the different navies and coast guards in the GCC region. Uh, from unmanned uh, aircraft, unmanned surface vehicles, uh, uh, aircraft, uh, ships, patrol boats, uh, high-speed uh, vessels, all this kind of technology uh, is sort of transforming the, the region and uh, bringing these new capabilities to the uh, solution set here in the region. So the panels this year have uh, brought together, again, a pretty interesting uh, group of uh, people to, to speak on some of these issues. The, the, the panels have looked at everything from uh, emerging threats, uh, importance of uh, networking and partnerships, and the uh, importance of cross-domain uh, operations so that it, it's no longer just a naval problem or a Coast Guard problem, but these are, are issues that require uh, the full domain response, air, surface, subsurface, uh, underwater, uh, cyber, space, and, and all aspects of uh, a, the, the solution from the full-on naval response to coast guards to uh, police, 
uh, harbor uh, authorities, uh, port police, uh, all are involved in, in trying to provide a safe and secure maritime environment.